Hello! Okay, so um, this is going to be an accent tag. Um, I don't know who all has done it. Um, I saw one guy who did it and um, he's from Canada, so it's pretty neat to hear um, like the, the way he says words and stuff. Um, I am from the United States. Um, central, south-ish, um, for the most part, I suppose. Um, I learned to speak originally in Texas, but then I moved to Missouri for 10 years, and while there I lost my heavy Texan accent, so I do not have a Texas accent anymore. It comes out in my speech occasionally, but it's not really noticeable. Um, and I don't particularly have a Missourian accent either. I'm not really sure what an accent from, you know, someone from Missouri has. Um, I guess I just didn't notice it. I, I don't know. Got used to it or something. Um, but for the accent tag, it starts off, and I'm sorry, I'm looking at my computer screen down here, so um, I will be occasionally looking down instead of at the camera. Um, the first one is your name and or username. My name is Amanda. And my username is when I know nothing. Um, well, number two is where you're from, and I already stated that because I got ahead of myself. Um, so, Texas slash Missouri. Um, okay, it says say the following words. Aunt, uh, like, you know, your mom or dad's sister, um, or married in the family, whatever, you know. The family member, aunt. Um, roof, route, wash, oil, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, sure, data, ruin, crayon, toilet, New Orleans, or when I'm, or I, I sometimes also say Nolens, but that's just me being a wannabe, I suppose. I usually say New Orleans. Um, pecan. I know a lot of people who say pecan, which actually kind of bothers me. I, it's, I don't know. I, I don't suppose that there's necessarily a right or wrong way. I just raised to say pecan. So I find it funny when I come across the people who say pecan. I don't have anything against you if you do. <laughs> um, both. Again. Probably. Spitting image. Alabama. Lawyer. Coupon. Mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas, cot, orange, coffee, direction, naturally, aluminum, and herbs. Um, so that was the list of words. That was number three. Um, number four. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? If there's another word for it than TPing, I cannot recall ever hearing it. Um, I. I've not even ever done that. Uh, well, no, okay, I guess some people do call it toilet papering, which just sounds kind of funny. Um, I think that it's TPing. Um, number five, what is the bubbly carbonated drink called? Um, uh, it's a soda, I guess. Um, I, I know there's other pe people who call it like Coke or something like that, you know, as the generic name for the bubbly drinks, but um, I just call it soda. Um, number six, what do you call gym shoes? Um, I call them tennis shoes. Um, not, it's not like I wear them to play tennis specifically, um, or they were made specifically to play tennis, that's, that's just what I call them, tennis shoes. Um, number seven, what do you say to address a group of people? Uh, I often say you guys, being in Texas, the occasional y'all slips out. I try really hard not to use y'all, um, even though I've said it twice now. Um, although I will type it, but I don't usually s say that to people. I'm usually like, hey guys, what's up guys? You know, how's it going guys? Um, even if it is girls, I use the generic guys. Um, let's see, what number am I on? Eight. 
Number eight, what do you call the kind of spider that has an oval shaped body and extremely long legs? I'm assuming that's deadly, <laughs> deadly. <laughs> that's not what I was trying to say. <laughs> Daddy long legs. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, that's, yeah, that's what I call them. Daddy long legs. Um, number nine, what do you call your grandparents? Um, if I'm addressing them as being my grandparents, I like, you know, when talking to people, I'll be like, my grandparents. Um, if I'm, okay, on my dad's side, my grandfather, we called Poppy, and my grandmother, um, was Grammy. Um, on my mom's side, uh, my grandmother, um, her name was Mary, so, um, we call her Grand Mary, um, Sometimes we shorten it to Graham. Um, we just do, we're just like, hey, let's go to Graham's. Um, but anyways, Grand Mary is what we call her usually. Um, and then my grandfather on my mom's side, um, we call Papa. P-A-P-A. Um, -A. Um, number 10. What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry your groceries at the supermarket? Um, I usually refer to it as a cart a shopping cart. Um, sometimes I'll, I'll also refer to it as a basket. Um, I'm not quite sure where I picked that up. I, that's just on occasion I call it a basket. I usually just call it a shopping cart. Um, yeah. Cart. Um, number 11. What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? Uh, hmm. I'm not quite sure what it's looking for there. Though what it's the way it's said, you know, rain falling while the sun is shining. Usually when that happens, a rainbow appears. So if we're talking about a rainbow, then great. If we're talking, if we're just talking about the really cool rays coming through the clouds, I uh, really cool rays coming through the clouds. I don't know if the specific term for that? Am I supposed to? Am I a horrible human for not knowing this word? <laughs> I'm confused. Um, we'll just move on. Yeah. Um, number 12. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? Um, I get made fun of this sometimes, but I call it a clicker. Because you, I don't know, you press the buttons. It, it's a clicker. I, I don't know. A clicker or a remote. Um, the TV remote or the clicker. I, I call it a clicker, okay? I call it a clicker. <laughs> um, I'm hoping I'm not the only one out there. I'm pretty sure there are a few others. We may be rare though, in which case we're all awesome. Just kidding. I, I don't know. Anyways, um, that is all the questions. Um, but it's, it's just really cool to hear the way other people say words like that. Um, and in case anybody else wants to do it, I shall post um, those questions in the bottom description down there in the doobly-doo. Um, so feel free to check that out. And everyone have an awesome Thanksgiving. Um, my friend um, McKenna um, on YouTube, she goes by um, Miss Whatever Stupid. <laughs> that is it, right? I'm gonna feel really bad if I got that wrong. Um, but anyways, we um, got together. When was that? Was that Saturday? I think that was Saturday. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ah, oh, and I got her name right. Yes. <gasps> I don't know why I doubted. <laughs> anyways. Um, Yes, so the two of us got together Saturday. It was Saturday. Um, we got together Saturday, and we um, did, like, two collaboration videos. Um, the one, I think, that will be on her channel, um, we were sort of talking, ranting about zombies. It was mostly, well, I, no, I, I don't know. It, it was zombie-themed anyways. So um, whenever we are able to get together to edit, um, that should be going up on her channel. And on my channel, 
um, I decided that rather than always sort of ignoring this um, lovely quote wall behind me, um, I would address it with a video. And I thought it would be funny to, for her to say, you know, what she thought, um, like the quote was in reference to, and then I would explain it. Um, I think there was a few that got skipped over. One I did realize that got skipped over, I was really sad about, it's right here behind me. I shall move the camera. Whoa! Um, right here. Um, it says, you're a freak of nature, and then it says, because you're a ginger. In writing, it doesn't make that much sense. Um, the way it happened was, um, actually my boyfriend came over um, one night uh, when we had visitation, and um, my roommate Rachel um, was, was with us, and we were talking, and um, he, he was talking about how um, he, he plays the cello, and like the first time he went into cello class, um, his hands were so large and he could play such a range of notes, I guess it was, that his teacher called him a freak of nature. However, when he was telling us this, he started out by only telling us that his teacher had called him a freak of nature. Um, and he had not explained why yet. And Rachel, she got this really upset look on her face and she's like, because you're a ginger? And it was just the most hilarious thing ever because she was just so upset that someone would call him a freak of nature for being a ginger. And, and she, she was just so upset and you could see it on her face and hear it in her voice. And then he was like, no. <laughs> so yeah, it was pretty hilarious. Anyways, um, my phone is ringing and uh, I need to get off the phone to answer, off the phone, off the camera to answer. So bye.